Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Your ongoing support means a lot to us because it helps us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So thank you all so much for the love that you've given us. Now, let's continue. Do you feel that your dating life is in a bit of a slump? Does it feel like everyone who asks you out has red flags? Are you looking out for all the little clues that will tell you whether your date sitting across the table is a keeper or not? The way your date is chewing with their mouth open and spewing food everywhere may be a red flag. Or maybe you've had bigger red flags, like if they bore you to death or can't stop talking about past relationships, or has an odd obsession with cat outfits. You might be ticking off the red flags so much that you miss out on the green flags. That's right, there are good things about the person sitting in front of you. So here are six green flags on dating you should be aware of. Number one. You can talk for hours, but it seems like minutes. You can lose your sense of time when you're with the right person. Sometimes hours can pass by when a lively conversation with a great date grabs your attention. This could be a sign that you genuinely enjoy hanging out with your date and aren't just checking off boxes to see if they're a perfect fit for you. Number two, they actively listen to you. If your date makes it a point to keep up a healthy conversation with you, like remembering to route back to certain topics and refers back to points you made earlier, that's a green flag. This means that they are actively listening to you. They'll genuinely keep the conversation going because they want to hear what you have to say. When you like someone, you want to know as much as you can about them. What are their interests? What's their taste in music? What TV shows are they watching? What kind of hobbies are they into? What makes them laugh? You want to get to know these things about your date because you're interested in them and want to show enthusiasm in getting to know them better. If they show that same level of enthusiasm in getting to know you, then that's a very good sign. Either that or they're secretly a spy. Number three, they're kind to the waiter. How your date treats the waiter can be a valuable insight into their character. Is your date going out of their way to complain about your waiter to you? Do they lose their patience with them? Or are they kind and patient and respectful of your waiter? If you pay attention to how your date treats the wait staff, it can give you some interesting details about who they are and how they handle stress. Even if it's just being patient enough to wait for your order of chicken wings to arrive. Chicken wings, is this making anyone else hungry? Number four, being around them feels natural. You can get nervous around someone that you like, that's normal. But on the flip side, if you find you're calm and comfortable around this person, then that's a green flag. Everyone gets some nervous butterflies on the first date, but if those flutterings in your belly give way to a sense of ease and comfortability as the date goes on, then that's a very good sign that there could be a positive, lasting spark between you two. Number five, they're not distracted by their phone. If you find yourself on a date where the other person isn't consistently eyeing their phone, then this is an obvious green flag. If someone isn't interested in what you're saying and they aren't honed in on you and the date, they might bring out their phone to occupy themselves. Putting their phone away and giving you their full, undivided attention shows that they want to be fully engaged with you. It shows that the time the two of you are spending together is important to them. And number six, you find yourself smiling all the time. Did they make you laugh? Do you feel comfortable talking to them? Are they kind to you? Do you feel happy around them? Do you like who you are when you're with them? These are all types of questions you can ask yourself to see if you wanna go on a second date. If you find yourself coming home from that first date with all smiles that don't go away, then you may have found your match. It's a green flag, go. Do you think knowing about these positive green flags will help you on your next date? Are there any other you think we missed? Let us know about any green flags for dating you have in the comments below. Go ahead and like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more Psych2Go videos. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.